Okay, if I want to solve this problem, I'm going to have to use the fact that if you have two chords that intersect within the circle, first of all, they're going to create vertical angles. And the vertical angles are going to be equal in measure. Okay, So whenever you have uh, vertical angles, they're equal in measure. I like to call this kind of like the bow tie effect because it looks kind of like a little bow tie. So whatever the angles across from each other are, they're vertical, they're equal in measure. Now also, when this happens in a circle like this, then the arcs that are created by these two vertical angles here, if you add them up and divide by two, you will get the measure of each of those two angles. Okay? Um, so essentially what we're saying is the measure of this angle is equal to the average of these two here. Okay? So, for this one here, if I want to find the measure of this arc, I know that, first of all, that these two angles are equal to each other, so I know that the measure of angle UQT is equal to the measure of angle RQS. So, they are, um, so that the measure of angle UQT is equal to 95 degrees. Okay these two are vertical angles. Okay. But I want to find this arc here, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say that I know that the measure of RQS is equal to one half the measure of arc RS plus arc UT measure of RQT. Okay, so this is 95 degrees is equal to one half 135 degrees plus this unknown quantity. Okay, which is what we're trying to find. Okay, so now I just need to do some algebra. Let's multiply both sides by two, so I'll get 190 degrees is equal to 135 degrees plus the measure of RQT. Subtract 135 and I'll get 55 degrees is equal to the measure of U of RQT.